We are back again with yet another unit review. This time we are heading back to our favourite boys, the Dark Angels, and this time looking at a character that I'm pretty sure is going to be getting an awesome new model, Primera sized, within the next couple of months. And that is, of course, the master of the Deathwing himself, Mr. Belial. Coming in at a cool 100 points, Belial has your typical Terminator stat line of movement 5 and that new and improved toughness 5 as well as a 2-up, 4-up invun save to keep him safe. He also has 6 wounds, which is nice and beefy, and of course the usual leadership 6-up and OC1 value. So it's nothing too exciting or unexpected really, but he is somewhat durable with that overall buffed up Terminator profile, so that is quite nice for his cost. His weapon options are still his own personal Stormbolter and the Sword of Silence, the Storm Bolter is Rapid Fire 2, so he'll have 4 shots within 12 inches, and whilst it's only Strength 4 with no AP, which isn't great, it does have two nice benefits, in that it is Damage 2, and it also has the Precision Rule. So that means that when he does Wound, he can allocate it to enemy leaders and enemy characters. So whilst they'll still get an armor save, it does mean that against some squishier leaders in the game that maybe rely on their bodyguard squad a bit more to keep them safe, you could potentially snipe them out of the game fairly early on. And certainly things like Eldari, Guard, Drukhari, maybe even some Tyranid stuff, those sort of leaders which are a bit squishier than the sort of, you know, three up or two up save that other armies have like Marines or Custodies or whatever, they definitely will be concerned about getting potentially four damage two shots coming their way, even though it doesn't have any AP, just one or two failed saves could potentially kill some of those leader characters. Following along this vein, the Sword of Silence is also precision, so you may be getting the picture. Belial is very good at being a character assassin, a character hunter, and the sword lets him swing with six attacks, hitting on twos at strength six, minus two AP, and two damage. So again, it's very, very good. He's going to be wounding pretty much all enemy characters and leaders on threes or even twos if they're toughness three. He's not great against like monsters or vehicles, but that's not really where you want him to be. You want him going after those characters that are embedded in enemy squads. And then with AP2, he will be pushing most of them, if not all of them, to their invun saves. So he is going to be rather scary and that if they just fail one or two invuns, that's a further four damage potentially, maybe even more if you get more attacks through going into them. And that will do a good chunk of damage, if not kill most of those squishier leaders that armies like the, the Guard and Tau have. He can expect to kill something like a Cadre Fireblade or an Autark in just one round of combat if he gets into melee with them. And even something like an Orc Warboss will still take around four or five wounds from him. So with a command reroll or Oath of Moment on the enemy unit, or even just some damage that has been plinked off from his Stormbolter before combat, he could pretty comfortably take down almost all enemy leaders in a turn, which is potentially really scary for your opponent who sort of will need them for that buffing potential for their squad and their army. On top of his own personal damage though, he also brings some fairly potent abilities to the board as well. Strikes of Retribution is arguably the less impressive of the two, but it means that when an enemy allocates a melee attack to Belial, you can roll a d6 after these attacks, up to a maximum of 6 dice, and on a 2+, plus, the attacker takes a mortal wound. So you can potentially get 6 mortal wounds back onto an enemy, even after they've swung into Belial. So even those enemy character assassin units who may charge in and get to swing before Belial, they may need to be cautious allocating attacks to him because they could very well get killed in return thanks to those mortal wounds. So he is not only very, very good at killing characters, but he's also one of those leaders that the enemy is going to be really cautious about and is almost as good at taking the hits as he is at giving them out. What is arguably even better though is that he also has, with the Grand Master of the Deathwing rule, he grants his entire unit the precision rule on their critical hits. Now this isn't just melee, it is ranged as well. So if Belial is in a full 10-man Terminator squad, that could potentially be another 40 bolter shots and 4 crack missiles that can be allocated to an enemy leader. Now that is of course extremely unlikely, you do need to roll the 6 to get the critical hit to gain precision, and then precision 
is only successful wound rolls that you get to allocate. So it's not in ever likelihood to be that many, but still, even on average with 40 Stormbolter shots against something like a Toughness 3 Kadra Fireblade, you will get around 6.6 .6 critical hits. So that's 6.6 .6 shots with the precision rule. And then you'll be wounding on threes. So that should be around 4.4 .4 wounds that you can allocate to the Fireblade. And then with their four up save, that is just over two wounds through on a Fireblade. And they've only got three wounds to begin with. So you could really quite easily, especially with something like Oath of Moment or a command reroll, kill some minor, not super, super important, but some minor leaders and characters that are helping to buff a squad and really new to that squad's effectiveness quite quickly in a game. And then when you get into melee, of course, it's even better because your Terminators have got those power fists and thunder hammers. So again, hitting on sixes, they will become precision. And then on twos to wound against most toughness three or toughness four enemy characters uh, and leaders, you will be able to allocate to that leader again, thanks to the precision rule. And you will get a boatload of strength eight, minus two AP, two damage attacks into those characters. Belial himself can attach to all manner of Terminator units from Deathwing Command Squads to Deathwing Knights to the Relic Terminator units, and they're all somewhat useful to him. The Command Squad is really nice because it has an Apothecary, so you can keep your squad coming back turn after turn after turn. You can't res Belial, of course, but you can keep his bodyguard unit safer for longer so that he can continue to give out that buff all game long. And then the regular Terminator squad, they get a bonus of plus one to hit against Oath of Moment targets. So you can again, massively fish for those sixes to hit to gain that precision reliably. And then reroll wounds means that you're gonna get more wounds through so you can meet the requirements of precision, get the wounds onto an enemy character and allocate it to them. And again, if you took those 10 Terminators with Storm Bolters, in half range and against an Oath of Moment target. So you'll be rerolling hits to get more sixes for the precision rule. And then with the reroll wounds as well, you will be getting a good solid number of wounds through onto the squad and just be able to allocate it to things like Fireblades or Orc War Bosses or Eldari Autarchs. And you should be able to get through a good three or so wounds onto an Autarch, almost killing it. And also the same onto an Orc War Boss again bringing it down to about half health. And then when you add in anything like the crack missiles you may have on the squad or Belial's own Storm Bolter, you could quite possibly kill something like a war boss or an Autark at range before they get anywhere near your lines for a charge or to pull any other shenanigans on you. So in my opinion, I think Belial is really rather good. For 100 points, he brings some relatively decent combat prowess himself. He is reasonably good at taking out enemy characters, especially when he does get into combat. And he is, of course, good at forcing your opponent to take the risk of receiving up to six mortal wounds in return if they do try to kill him. So he is that sort of deterrent for getting into combat with one of your Terminator squads as well. And then, of course, his buffs are just really fantastic. Bringing those precision shots to his Terminator squad means that those squishier enemy leaders will really have to be careful of getting near him because it, as I said, is going to be super, super easy to get a good three or four wounds onto them, even at ranged. And then when you do get into combat, it gets even worse because you've got all of those power fists hitting on threes or twos with Oath of Moment, re-rolling, and all of those sixes to hit, sending a strength eight, two damage attack into their leaders. So I think in general, he's something of a mixed character assassin and unit buffer but he really will help you to take out key pieces of your opponent's army before they really get the chance to act and bring their buffs to your opponent. So from that perspective, I think at 100 points, he really is a worthwhile consideration, especially if you are running sort of a Terminator heavy list or you have a big 10-man squad of Terminators for him to join, because that just gives so much buffing power to all of their shots and their melee attacks purely from adding that precision rule to their critical hits. But of course, as always, what do you make of Belial? Is his precision buff good enough for that 100 points? Or do you think he needs something else to make it even better? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more Warhammer content from me. But until next time, I'll catch you later, guys.